What is happening, everybody, on YouTube? Steve Rakin here, and welcome to another Green Room show. I'm not sure what show it is. Is it 46? Is it number 46? It could be 46, sure. 47, 48. It's one of We're those. We're in the 40s. We're definitely in the 40s right now. Um, but yeah, welcome to another Green Room show. Below, we've got a few people. I'm Steve Rakin. Who's next on deck? What's up, Bonafide Hustler here? That's it? That's, that's, that's your intro? That's my intro right now, man. Okay. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Young, retro aficionado. Cool. So, uh, Bonafide, man, for the people who don't know you and don't know who you are, which I don't know how they couldn't. Uh, what's a little bit about you, man? Tell, tell us your story. So my name is the Bonafide Hustler. I reside in Austin, Texas. I flip stuff I find from garage sales, estate sales, yard sales, flea markets, pawn shops, swap meets, and I put it on places like eBay, Amazon, Craigslist, my antique booth, and consignment stores in town. I run a quarter of the Green Room University, which we'll get into later on in the show. And we have Steve Rakin, who is also another one of the quarter. What's up, dude? Yeah, what's going on, man? Pumped up for the show. I think the folks who are watching know who I am, but if you don't know who I am, 29 years old, I live in Connecticut, and um, I've been reselling for about three years. I resell primarily on eBay, Amazon, and Craigslist and source my products to resell from uh, typically thrift stores, garage sales, book sales, and sometimes retail stores and pawn shops. And uh, yeah, I love reselling. It's a lot of fun. It's, uh, you know, it's exciting, but it's also great to be able to uh, make money from it as well and share it all here on uh, YouTube. So with that being said, I'm going to pass the ball off. To Yong. What's going on, hey, man? Talk hey. to me. What's going on, guys? My name is Young. I uh, live in Santa Clara. I almost said San Jose again, but I live in Santa Clara. Um, let's see. Just like these guys, I sell on various platforms, eBay, Amazon, Craigslist, Antique Booth. Uh, I mean, pretty much through it all. Been doing it for a long time, too. So, Awesome, yeah. man. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's good to have you here, man, and uh, excited for the show. Today's show, we're going to be talking about, the title of the show is actually Getting to Know the Green Room, our story, how we could help you, and kind of like our mission and our purpose. We get a lot of questions about the green room, and uh, we've got a pretty large email list with almost 4,000 people now who have downloaded our free book and who are getting our free um, emails and content that we send out to them. And we get a lot of emails asking about, you know, what exactly is the green room? And I think one thing that we could all agree upon is we definitely need to do a better job at kind of communicating what the green room is and how it could help people. Um, and that's a work in progress. So we figured, you know what, why not make a show and talk about the green room, the benefits, how it can help you if you're looking to join a community. And also we want to shout out some of the green room members during this show who have really made an amazing impact on the green room and really who have made, has made it what it is, which is just such an amazing place to go and communicate and learn um, and talk about some success stories as well. So with that being said, I'm going to pass it over to the Bonafide Hustler because he typically runs these green room shows. Um, so why don't you take the lead, Bonafide, and uh, get this show started. All right, man. What's up? So a check, check, one, two, one, two. We want to make sure that we sound good, first of all, and we're going to be going into the feed periodically. Now, if it's a Wednesday and it's around 8 p.m. Central, likely this show is live and you can chat right there live with us on the feed to your right. So if you're on a mobile phone, then likely the feed would be on the very bottom. But you can ask a question, you know, and uh, we're pretty much bound to see it on this show. So um, I do want to shout out the members that are out there. There are a lot. So if you are a Green Room member and you're in the feed, um, go ahead and say, you know, whatever you want to say about the room. But we want to make sure that we know how many members are in this feed. we got 63 people watching. I'm curious out of the 63 who's in our room. But uh, let What do they have to say, know. Bonafide? What do they have to, what's the one word they need to say if they're a Green Room member? We just always say, do this. Just say Green Room. That's all you got to do. That's it. <laughs> That's all you got to say. Um, it's a really, really good place to be, and we'll get into that further. Or say, I love ice cream, either one. No, we got to just say green room. Yeah, anyway. Um, so, okay, um, and while you're at it, guys, also take a second, move your little mouse thing to the like button, hit the like button. Um, whether you're a member or not a member, you'll still find value within this show. Um, so let's go talk about, first of all, one of the very first creations that and Steve talked about this earlier, was the 100 amazing items to resell. At one point, we were charging money for this guide, and um, it is a guide that we specifically built um, with 100 things that are 
pretty much readily available things that you should be looking for in thrift stores, garage sales, and uh, it's quite the guide, honestly. And you can put it on your phone too. You can put it; it's a PDF, so it's digital download. You don't have to wait for it to come in the mail. Um, you can put it in your phone immediately. Um, Raken, how can they get this guide? I mean, it's really quick to get. It's free. Go yeah, down below, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. If you look in the description, we have a few different links. One's to the greenroomuniversity.com, which kind of gives a little more. That's like our sales page. It tells about you know the benefits and everything like that. Um, which we're actually creating a new one because we don't really think it communicates it as, as best as we'd like. Uh, but the second link down is get the free book created by the Green Room, uh, rakenprofit.com for its forward slash 100 amazing items free download to your phone and like I like I said earlier we've had about 4, 000, over 4,000 people download the book and we've just gotten so much great feedback about it so I mean feel free to download it um, if you don't want to be on the email list that's fine you could unsubscribe but for the people who have downloaded it you'll know that we're not there spamming you, just trying to sell you all the time. It's about 95% just pure content about eBay, Amazon, Craigslist, antique booths, garage sales. I mean, we've, we've what, probably written about, what, 50 or 60 different emails for that list. Yeah, quite a lot, honestly. Um, but yeah, when you guys get a chance, make sure you download the guide. I think a lot of people have this, Raken, but quite honestly, there's some new people in here that don't even know what the Green Room is, so thank you for joining our show. This is what it looks like. Digital download down below. Go get it. It's going to blow your mind when it comes to your garage sales. You're really going to like what you see in that yeah. little guide. What's up? What's up? Keep going. I was just saying, pull the mic with these headsets. If it's too close, okay. it picks up all the audio. Uh, you have a <laughs> like Star Wars. We have a question from Golden Finger Picker, who, by the way, got to 10,000 subscribers, I want to say, yesterday. Congratulations. So congratulations. Oh, Chad. Um, congratulations. Chad, Golden Finger Picker also runs shows many times during the week, right? Um, and he also, I would say, is trusty sidekick, or maybe it's vice versa. I have no idea. But um, is Ronnie Hart from Hart's... Uh, mo Great guy. I call it Hart's Motor Company. That's just the way I call it. But anyway, Hart's Pickers, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's his like wingman in a lot of the shows. But... To answer Chad's question, is Green Room mostly dedicated to Amazon? I'm pretty much eBay. Could I benefit? So we're going to let the members answer that really quickly in the feed first, and then I'll touch on it in about a minute. But I want to give you know the members a chance to answer this question because that way it's not as biased or anything like that coming from me. Um, we have Kelly. Good, no good, good evening, everyone, and fellow resellers. Send love to all Green Room and to everyone. Wow, I never thought to print it. Thanks a million. Bonafide Hustler. Cool. What's up, That's Kelly? That's awesome. That's cool. Chad, 10K is awesome. 10K is a milestone, man. Um, guide is awesome. Very helpful from Throps, Thro Thropster. Okay. <laughs> Pickers, Swamp Picker. That's Glenn right there. Um, everyone's just saying green room, green room, green room, green room. So, um, Malu Jimmy is saying, I love the green room life. It's teaching me also to lose weight and eat right, and I love ice cream. So, you know, <laughs> we're going to get into that here in a second as well. Like, later on in the show, like, there's some other parts of the green room that I think people really would enjoy outside of the reselling because we, we firmly believe that you know if you're if you're not mentally in in check or your health is not in check then sometimes the money doesn't matter um, young what do you what do you think about that I mean if you're not mentally there and you're not taking care of yourself physically then what is the, does the, does the money matter in the end or not no I mean we can all we can all die tomorrow I mean uh, I mean it's kind of harsh just saying it like that but I mean all that that we make, all that money that we make, it does not, it's not going to do us any good if you're dead tomorrow. Yeah, so stay staying healthy is part of the game, and that's one of the things that we've created also in the green room is another another page called the Green Room Life, which we'll get into later. But it's everything outside of reselling and making money. It's all into that. That thing's been taken off too lately. If if you're a green room member and you're not in there, get in there. I've I've actually been surprised at how how receptive people in the green room have been to that extension of the green room, green room life. It's It's been blowing up in there, man. It's been cool. Two qu two remarks from a couple members. Robert Burns Photography, green room is effing amazing. I've been a member for two years, and it's, and it's worth it. That's There's that. And then here is one um, that has to do with eBay. Murray Zuckerman also benefits for eBay and Amazon for sure. We have another one right here. Andrew K says, Chris and Young have good souls. Okay. Um, hey, man. <laughs> Hey, you're not you don't you don't have a good soul, Rakin. Sorry, man. Um, Spectacular soul. Malu Jimmy, green room has gotten so big now. There are people with decent with decent knowledge in most of the selling platforms. It's not about which one is best. It's about helping each other with 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 what works for them. And I, so let's give our our uh, take on that because Chad is definitely one of the you know most recognized people in the picker community on YouTube. And to answer the question, 
I love doing eBay, Chad. Like I love it, and I post all kinds of stuff to, that I put into eBay or that sells on eBay in the green room. As do a lot of people. Mm -hmm. We preach the uh, the diversification, uh, you know, income stream. We, mm -hmm. we are, we're not all. Although there are a lot of people that are like all eBay or all Amazon. Um, I like to dabble with both. I know I know Raken does the same thing, and you got to have all these avenues open to make money. You know, so I think if you were to join the green room, Chad. Yes, you would find information about eBay, but I think you would <clears throat> gradually gravitate towards Amazon as well because it's hard not to when you're around so many people that are making good business decisions and making excellent flips. I think it's very hard not to follow safely into those footsteps because the people in the room make it so easy. Um, okay, so that that's just my two cents. What do you think, Raken, about that? Uh, would it, is eBay in that room or is, is it too Amazon heavy right now? <laughs> I'd say definitely it's it's more towards Amazon. There are eBay sellers in there, and there's people who post. There's people who strictly just post eBay all day long, clothing, uh, random items. People are always asking about tips and talking about it. But I'd say it's definitely it's more towards. You know, if you were to weigh it out, right? It's definitely more Amazon. But there's people in there talking about merch. There's people talking about wholesale. There's people talking about so many different things, antique booths, garage sales. I mean, so it's definitely, you know, it's widespread. It's not, you know, it's it's deep, you know. There's a lot of different things that people talk about. But I'd say that I'd say at the forefront is definitely Amazon. Okay, we've got Joel Dodson echoing in on the comment feed here live. I have only sold on eBay and Craigslist, and I get tips daily that are beneficial for an eBayer. So there you go. That's wow. why we're right there okay. talking about it. Um <clears throat> Okay, so let's talk about the uh, next thing on the agenda. Um, we do have something special coming down next week. We're going to give you a little hint about what it is. Um, it's also known as a webinar, right, Raken? Yep, we're going to be having a uh, webinar. I'm not sure if it's going to be live on YouTube or if it's going to be private. We're still trying to work that out, but we're looking to just – I'm trying to think of the best way to say it. The thing with the webinar is – you get more serious people because it's an extra step to join the webinar and be there at the right time and everything. So I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be on YouTube, YouTube, but we're going to be having a special webinar for people who uh, want to learn about how to boost their sales on eBay, Amazon, Craigslist, e-commerce in general. And um, we've actually we're going to have a special offer uh, for people to join the green room. And as you guys know, if you if you follow the green room, we rarely have discounts and promotions. Um, Every once in a while, if you fo follow us maybe on Periscope or you're like really loyal and like you're at Snapchat or something crazy, sometimes you'll see something that pops up for a day or two. Um, but we're going to have something really, really special coming up in terms of a promotion for the green room. Um, so you're definitely going to want to – this is what you want to do, guys. If you want to hear about the promotion, just download the ebook below. Get 100 amazing items to resell. If you've got that book, you're going to be on the email list, and we're going to send out a few emails. If you're not – it's it's probably not going to be on YouTube, so that's all I can really say about it now. But uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, and the window is going to be short too, because the whole purpose of a webinar is to keep a very tight window for people that really are serious about wanting to join and give a tiny discount. So yes, there's going to be something small and something very good in that webinar. And I'll be honest, like, and we've all discussed this. We don't. Our goal isn't to have 10,000 members. We can easily drop the price down, you know, to 10, 5 bucks a month and get all the We're not in it for the publicity to be famous to have the biggest group, which and there's nothing wrong with that, right? There's nothing wrong with having a huge group, but we've decided that we want a small committed group and we only want people that are super super serious. And I can tell you right now and I'm not pulling a Ty Lopez selling trick on you. The price really is <laughs> going to continue to go up because we only want serious people. We only want committed people. So that's all I can really say. I mean, what are well, your thoughts on that, Chris and, and Young? I, I, let me chime in too. You know, and people say, oh, well, you know, you, you guys are charging for information that, that's out there. That's true. I mean, you can go to hundreds of uh, YouTube channels and get the information for free. But number one, everything's under one roof in the green room. And... Um, Number two, if you think about it, you do the math, you divide the income by four, we're not making a lot of money because what we're doing is we're reinvesting the money back into the group to provide back to the community. So the money that uh, that Steve makes, the money that Chris makes, the money that I make, is you guys would be really surprised what we uh, what we take home. It's, it's, it's nothing. Yeah. It really is. Nothing. We hope to change that one day to be 100% <laughs> yeah, honest. Of course, of I mean, we're, we're, we're all businessmen, and it, of course we want to be able to earn money, but I think the difference between us and a lot of people, and, and not, I don't know if a lot, if that's the best way to say it, but 
I, I, I really want to build a business around being ethical and helping people and making a mm -hmm. difference. And I think we've been building the foundation the right way for the green room, investing back into it, saving money for the business, um, you know, improving the website. Um, and I think we're really doing things the right way. I think that five to ten years down the road, we're going to have some – it's still going to be here, and it's going to be something so amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's not cheap to throw what we're about to throw next week, by the way, too. So that's that's quite the investment into the – next week's investment is very, very big. It's very large. Um, it's I'll, I'll just say it like this. It's north of $6,000. That's pretty, pretty expensive in my book. Like, what, just what are you for, talking about if people don't know? What, what, do you, what do you mean? We're talking about the big meetup that's uh, the entire week of next week down to, like, the rental van, down to everything that we are doing, um, you know, all the stuff that we've done, the merch shirts that we've created, the stuff that we're going to be giving away at the meetup. I mean, just all this kind of stuff and renting the place for the meetup and the food and all this stuff. I mean, it's just, you know, it's one of those things that we realize people are traversing across the USA. They're motivated, they're inspired, and they want to experience Austin, Texas, you know, because they probably see it in my videos, let's be fair. Um, and, you know, we're, we're, we're coming to a, an amazing oasis of a town with incredible thrifting, incredible money-making potential, and uh, we're throwing a meetup. That's what we do every year. Um, our first meetup was like 27 people. Our second meetup was 50, 54, and then our third one, which is now, is going to be right around 88 or so, so it's not bad. It's pretty good. Um, but anyway, yeah, Golden Finger Picker, Austin is great. Okay, so let's talk about the next thing. Yeah, so you're definitely going to want to get that guide down below, okay, because the webinar heads up is only going to come from the email list. We ain't, we're not going to go public on YouTube with it, and um, it's going to be a little bit different. I, we haven't decided, we, but I'm, 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 I'm geared more towards doing it not on YouTube, but yeah. I, I don't want to say 100% we're not going to put something on YouTube, but probably the core offer is going to be behind the scenes. Yeah, the, what, going back to Raken's point, what we want to do is attract – you know, we, I, I'm a little different. Like, I, I'd like to attract a very large crowd of very, very serious individuals. I mean, I, it doesn't have to be a small crowd. As long as everyone's pitching in and making contributions, mm -hmm. and as large as the crowd gets, there's more eyes in the market, there's more bolos going out, there's more of everything. Um, but the, the challenge is to find the right people, quite honestly, in this business. And so, you know, you get people that are like, oh, I'm really serious about it, I'm really serious about it, but I don't want to be in the room. I just want to get free information. Well, that's great, but that takes a lot of time, and everyone knows that. So... You know, we're very efficient with our time down to everything that we do with garage sales, all the planning that we do. Everything that we ever do is based on time, right? And everything, everything, like, I mean, time is one of those things that you cannot purchase more of and you don't get to get it once it expires, right? You don't get to go back and get it, right? So once it's expiring and it's done, I mean, you still have, you have to be as smart as you can with the time that you are allotted. And I really think our room uh, hones in on that. It gives you... You know, for a small chunk of change, it gives you an incredible amount of knowledge that, yes, you could have got free, but that would take forever. That would literally take me. What's your time worth, right? What is your time worth? If you're watching right now, ask yourself, break down how much income you make and then break down how many hours you're working per week and break down what's your, what are you worth hourly? What's it worth for you to take 12, 15, 20 hours to figure it out on your own? What is that worth to you? If, if, if it's, if it's, you know, a hundred dollars an hour, which I, I don't think that's a bad rate for someone who's out thrifting, um, you know, or 20 bucks an hour. I mean, that's thousands of dollars. And, uh, right now for the green room, we've got a monthly offer and a yearly offer, which really will pay for itself in one to two fines. So, yeah. What's your time worth? What is your time worth for a cup of coffee? Really, for a cup of coffee per day, I mean, less than that. If you were to get a, a yearly membership for two hundred dollars, that's less than a dollar per day. That's I think less it's sixteen sixty-six a month is what it comes out to being. Yep. A horrible so. amount. <laughs> no, it's eight thirty-three times two. I just know it's sixteen sixty-six a month. So think about you know in one month. Where can you get sixteen dollars and sixty six cents? I mean, that's up to you. You know, we don't, we can't twist your arm to do it. But at the same time, uh, you know, the comment feed is there. I mean, I don't think, I don't think uh, our members are lying about anything. So let's go to the next topic real quick. How did we get started and why? What's the story behind the entire room in the first place? You know, where did this room come from? You know, and what are its, what are its intentions? So I'll just tell you like this. Um, one of the things that I did and I've always wanted to do, and this is the reason why I created my first book was to stop answering one-on-one <clears throat> -on -one questions, right? Because I was getting them left and right, one-on-one -on -one questions. What about this? How much is this? How much is that? Teach me about eBay. You know, buy it now or auction. Like, you know, one-on-one -on -one questions. And quite honestly, being a YouTuber, I, you know, I, it got 
kind of out of control after a while. I was like, okay, there must be a way to address this so that people that were in my situation when I first started now have an answer and they have a shortcut. It's almost like a Cliff's Notes, right? Remember in high school, those yellow books with the Cliff's Notes of all these crazy Shakespeare books that you were supposed to read but no one wanted to read them? So you bought the Cliff Notes and you, bas you basically passed the test. So that's kind of like what the green room is. is you know, Instead of reading the entire book and taking up a, tons of your time, you can read the Cliff's Notes, get out in the field, and make some serious money. And that's what we wanted to do because we didn't have that when we started out. Um, when Reagan started out, we didn't. Have, he had to go to the you know thrift stores, pile up carts full of clothing. You know, started with bikes and everything. He had to figure it all out on his own. And uh, then he created guides, you know, to make it easier for people, which it did, right? And then you did the blazer guide. And then after that, you've done a pawn shop book. All these things that we create were to shorten uh, the, t the 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 curve, you know, the learning curve for everyone out there. Um, and then we finally, finally, you know, three years ago, maybe I've always talked about. You know, we need to build a university, something with like tests and quizzes and like, you know, actual curriculum and stuff like that. And I really feel as if we're on that route. We're going that route. We have courses. We're, you know, at some point in the near future, we'll probably have, you know, things like tests and quizzes and things like that that'll get people in real world scenarios, you know, right in front of their faces. So that way when they get into the actual scenario in the real world, they know how to react, right? They call it role playing in real in uh, corporate culture. But anyway, um, that's why we created the green room is a shortcut, right? Raken, it's a shortcut so that way you don't have to sit there spinning your tires for however many years you've done it for. I've done it for like 10, almost 11 years now. And if there was a green room 11 years ago, I mean, there wasn't, but if there was, I mean, man, I would have been all over it, honestly. I would have died for a green room when I had first gotten started. I had to rely on literally spamming the bona fide hustler. I mean, I was like on his wall, like like white on rice. Just, what do you think about this bicycle? What do you think about that? What do you think about this? Can you give me a back rub? Like, I was going crazy. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it, it really, you know, we created what we wish we had. We created a place where people can feel safe. And that's a big thing. That is a really, really big thing Like on the hierarchy of like our values. We want to create a place where you can feel safe. You guys know how it is. And you know, I know um, we got people in the, in the room right now who are running big Facebook groups. Chad, you know what it's like, Chad. You run a, and, and Chad's a good friend of ours. Check out the Reseller Society. But you know what it's like in some of these groups. Sometimes people attack. And actually, Reseller Society, they do a great job. They have a lot of admins who kind of remove the, the crazy people. But feeling safe is so, so important. It's so important to feel safe and comfortable. And we wanted to create a place where you can go and you can feel safe and you don't get judged. And if somebody attacks, which it happens every now and then everywhere, we make sure to handle it. And... Um, it's just so important because you know you want to be able to openly ask a question without feeling like you know you're being judged or someone's gonna think you're stupid. You know what I'm talking about, Young? Like, have you ever had a question but you're like, eh, maybe I'm not gonna ask because I don't want someone to kind of like be harsh? Yeah, yeah, and you know what? And in the group, there's there's no dumb questions whether you're a beginner or 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 an expert. I mean, we have people ask the same questions all the time, and um, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it, it's that's how you learn. Yeah, we have questions that are like super advanced down to like you know some of the most basic questions, which are like pick or pass, right? Um, and we're okay with all that kind of stuff. And quite honestly, the only thing that we're not okay with in the green room is somebody that retaliates against a member or something like that based upon yeah. you know sexual preferences, race, you know color, gender, all that kind of stuff. We absolutely do not deal with any of that kind of stuff. We we really monitor the flow of information and we make sure that everyone's being courteous to each other. And quite honestly, I think that has really paid off a whole lot. We have people that. I'm not going to name any names, but I thought would be troublemakers coming in, and quite honestly, they just, they're just perfectly fine people mm -hmm. in the room, and I think it's almost maybe giving them a chance to like really shine, you know, because maybe other groups didn't give them that chance, and these people are getting their chances in the green room to like feel like they're worth something, and everyone's worth something. Everybody's worth something. Um, it, it's just a matter of can you find the right amount of people to share it with, right? Not people that are going to tear you apart, tear you down. So um, anyway, yeah, the green room is full of like really good people, and then the green room what? life... We yeah. have 200 members in there. Just about 200 members of our 589 people, 200 of those have now gone into Green Room Life and are actively posting. And it's, I like Green Room Life a lot. I mean, I, I really do. Fitness is my number one passion in life, followed by the hustling. And um, Green Room Life was, I, guess, I would say right now, it's pretty much it was what was my idea. I, I conversed with Raken about it, and uh, you know, this was like months ago. And then we were just we were just deciding like, you know what, the time is ripe. And people want to learn on so many different levels. There's no reason why we wouldn't do this right now. And so we went with it. We just went with it, and we, we took a risk, 
and quite honestly, I, the risk has paid off better than we ever thought it would be. And it hasn't paid off anything. Like monetarily, it hasn't paid us a cent. But the the, the the amount of angles we get on people and their lives and what they want to do with their lives is, is incredible. So anyway, um, what's up, Hearts Picker? What's up, man? What's up, Ronnie? Ronnie. Heart Picker. Ronnie. Heart. Ronnie's giving Chad a hard time saying, Paper Bag Picker, did you beg your way to 10,000 subs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, um, so we have Trisha White. Here, let me let me answer this question. It's like a remark of some sorts. Hello, Green Room. Yeah, I don't really post questions in the room because I feel like it might be a dumb question. I know I shouldn't feel that way in the Green Room, though. So honestly, yeah, you shouldn't. I mean, honestly, ask away. It doesn't really matter. We definitely oversee everything. And quite honestly, our core Green Room members look out for us as well. Um, they're usually seeing some... in. Um, altercations brewing up before we even get to it sometimes, and so we get to get notified and handle the situation. So it's not just us eyeing all the stuff. It's it's other people that believe in the Green Room mission that are helping us out as well. So And they're not even admins. They're just there because they believe in the cause, and I really appreciate it. One people cool like thing that. that's that's been happening, sorry to cut you off, is the friendships that have been forming. How many mm -hmm. people have you seen meeting up and creating mini meetups and like becoming best friends? And I mean, I literally had Jameis over, Jameson over the other day. He's on and off the phone with Green Room members all day, and I'm like, holy mackerel, this kid has made like millions of millions of friends from the Green Room, and it happens all over the place. Jameson's a good friend of mine, so um, I mess with him all the time. But I mean, it's crazy how many relationships are being built in the green room. I'm waiting for a green room wedding. It's going to happen. I know it will oh, eventually. Oh, man, that'll be fun. <laughs> that'll be fun. But, you know, I mean, yeah, Jameson's a unique story, too. I mean, we, 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 we had him on the show a few times now, and when he joined the green room, he, he was, oh, my gosh, the guy was in financial financial problems. He, he was he was having some serious issues. But now he's uh, – you probably saw his numbers, Steve. I mean, he's yeah. doing – Ridiculously he's well. To a half a million dollars this year, and he's he yeah. shared it on his channel. Yeah, two years ago, the guy was literally broke. Yeah, and he bought himself a car too the other day. Yeah, so joined cool. the green room and just completely changed his life around. Yeah, and then we have other success stories like Craig Morris, which you can look up the green room hangout about oh, Craig Morris, who I got so to meet. So inspiring. Him. Yeah. Craig Morris, Craig Morris is an animal on FBA as well. I know his work ethic is insane because I had met him in real life when I was in Florida. And yeah, it's really it's it's quite the family. I mean, we can all just come down to one word, it's family. And so, you know, we, we love the family. We want to make sure that the family is always taken care of. Anything messes with the family, we take care of that. So um, let's talk about uh, that takes care of green room to sex stories a little bit. Let's talk about um, what are people going to learn in the green room? I think this is some of the questions that are like, what what do I what am I hoping to learn in the room? So let's talk about that, Young and Steve. Um, so first things first, um, we have the main, main part of the green room, which is the Facebook group, right, Young? Mm -hmm. Would you consider the Facebook group to be highly active, semi-active, or eh, kind of active every day? Highly active. <laughs> people are in there all the time. So, I mean, that's, that's our number one platform. You know, people go in there and they uh, interact, whether uh, they're having issues with their shipments or just whatever. If they just want to communicate, um, um, they're always in there. So, um, yeah, that's our number one platform. Yeah. We have one of our newest members that came in last week named Q. Just shot a live video right before this Hangout started <laughs> outside of a Goodwill outlet. Like, I mean, huh. we, we, you know, it's a place where you, you feel at home. You really do. Like, you can go live. I went live earlier today for about... 40 minutes showing an FBA hall before it got packaged up, and so that was cool. That stuff never makes its way on YouTube, but I show the green room, right? Um, so the Facebook group is very important. In the Facebook group is the family. It's everyone talking at a rapid pace. It's really good. Um, it goes so fast sometimes that, so, that some of these posts, while they might be great posts, sometimes they go a little too fast, and uh, Facebook's algorithm, we don't get to control that, right? So if right. someone likes a, likes a post or comments on a post or does any kind of, kind of stuff, it automatically like starts ranking the post higher than other ones. It means decent posts that didn't get any comments, but they're still decent posts, start going to the bottom really quickly. And going to Young's statement, it, it, you know, it's highly active, so sometimes some of the good posts, that's the only thing that I wish we could work on, but we really can't work on it. Um, yeah, so, but... Um... But, We're trying I mean, harder every day to like at least be in the room and like at least talk to everyone as much as we can. Um, but yeah, I like. I, let, me, let me get to this um, actual comment real quick. Hearts pickers, if you're positive and you're around positive people, it does help. Yes. 
That's totally true. And that's coming from a person that runs, you know, multiple YouTube videos all the time, every week. Uh, well, going back to um, what you were saying, though, Chris, um, but if, um, like Chris was saying, the, uh, the feed in Facebook is really fast, but um, if you have a specific question, um, the best way around that is just always tag someone, right? So, for instance, like if I, want, if I had a bike question, I know Chris is really good with bikes, so I would tag him. Um, so that's a good way. That's a good workaround for that. Um, you know, if I had a question about a blazer, I would tag Steve. Um, so, uh, for those of you members in the green room already, if you have a specific question for something and you know that someone is an expert on that, um, just go ahead and tag that person. Okay. So outside of the Facebook group, guys, I want to make sure that everyone's clear if you're like looking at a bird's eye view of what our business model is. We have the Facebook group that's running, right? We also have the Green Room University site, okay, which is alongside the Facebook group, but they're not, they don't intermingle very much. I mean, it's just, the site is its own little thing, and it comes with the faith, it comes with the membership. So if you become a Green Room member, not only do you get the site, you also get to be part of the Facebook group as well. Now, inside the site, Raken, what, what can they find inside the site? Yeah, we have a lot of different things. I mean, I could do a screen share if you'd like. Yeah, just make sure no one sees our password. Do it. Do it. All right, I'm going to do a screen share real quick, <laughs> and I am going to show you guys behind the scenes. So this, I think this is our first screen share live. Is, is that correct? Is this so, the part of the, the Hangout that just where it just crashes into a black screen? <laughs> I'll try to rush back into it. All right, so I'm going to do a anyway, presentation. So it should be right, showing right. my School screen. Time. Can you see my screen right now? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, cool. So it's going to look a little different because I'm in the back end of the website as the admin, but uh, this is it right here. This is the greenroomuniversity.com, and um, as you can see, if you go to greenroomuniversity.com, everybody can see this, and this is one thing I'd recommend doing right now or after the show. Watch this video because it actually goes really far into depth in terms of like everything that you get. And it goes into all these different tabs. Uh, but this is kind of like our sales page, which is really outdated, which needs to be improved, which we've actually, we're about 90% done with the new one. Uh, but yeah, what do you get? Um, so obviously the blog right here, the blog is actually open to the public. And uh, it looks like Eric put up a new blog post the other day, which is really cool. But this is our blog. This is 100% free. So I'm not going to go into this too much. But uh, you're going to get access to training videos. We've got training videos on eBay, Amazon, Craigslist, and a few others that we're continuing to uh, work on. So that's pretty cool right there. We have private shows. So if you join uh, about once or twice a week, um, I know Bonafide Hustler's been doing a lot of live Facebook shows, which we've been putting in here. Uh, but once a week, uh, Yong interviews a new member. So as you can see, we update this all the time with uh, various live shows, with um, different updates and whatnot. But as you can see, over the last couple of months, we have tons of uh, live shows that we do only for the members. These are not going on to YouTube. Uh, most of these are hosted on Vimeo, and they're you can't find them if you even search for them. So I didn't realize I did that many already. Wow. Yeah, a lot of those. Are your, yeah, you've done a, You've definitely done a ton of them. I've I've done a couple of them. Like on May sixth, we did a hangout with tons of. Um, we probably had what eight or nine members on live, and we talked about repricing, OA X-ray shoes, clothing, coupons. But we do a lot of private shows. Um, here's the Facebook community, which would redirect you to the. Uh, Facebook group. We have a member spotlight, which uh, every month we have a uh, a new member that we. Um, kind of call the MVP, which is like our most valuable player. So in May, uh, Craig Morris was awarded the member of the month, and uh, that's his picture of his little cute daughter right there who actually had a chance to meet. She is so innocent. And uh, April was uh, Aisha. In March, we had, uh, uh, we like to call him NZ. NZ. Um, here we have Jason Clark. So once a month, we, we, we actually have the members vote on the MVP, the most valuable player, someone they feel like that contributed the most, gave the most, had the biggest impact on uh, the green room, and uh, they get a $25 cash reward. Isn't that right, Chris? That's right. 25 bucks, man. 25 bucks. Also, another cool thing we do every 10 days, we have a bolo video. So these are bolo videos that we have, and uh, for example, if I click on one right here, you'll, you'll be able to see. This is the green room. The green room. <laughs> <laughs> First 
Uh, I can't show I can't show too many of them, but we have bolo videos that we do once every ten days, which uh, the College Picker runs. And pretty much what we do is we compile all the best bolos that come into the green room each each and every week. And and like Chris was saying before, it's so challenging to watch the feed. And I know Chad and Ronnie knows what I'm talking about. Anyone who runs a Facebook group, the the feed is moving so fast. You literally can't catch everything. So uh, we have a bolo video we have each and every week. Uh, we have member videos as well. That um, right now we have some members who have contributed to some videos. Uh, Green room life. We have our own apparel. Uh, but this is a big one right here. This is the last thing I want to talk about. It's our resources. So these are all the free books that you're going to get if you join the green room. These are you know paid on the open market for example this is going for 20 bucks this is going for I think 30 or 40 on the open market um, but these are all the resources you're gonna get when you join pawn shop profits bikes bikes to bucks 101 killer clothing brands uh, we've got young uh, retro aficionados book on how to succeed with antique booths we've got exploits of life by the college picker talking about how to make money with guitar heroes we have a bunch of different things in here that are free for the members and we actually have a new one that's going to be coming soon as well um, about garage sales uh, but yeah that's a little bit behind the scenes of what you'll get again training videos private shows you're gonna get the Facebook group uh, we have a member spotlight each and every month we have have all the free resources, bolo videos. You'll have access to the green room event, and um, we're gonna have some discounts coming soon for members as well. And we recommend some products and um, just a bunch of stuff. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take my screen share off what right now. Oh, I wanted to see the apparel. You should have shown right. the apparel. I'm so proud of the apparel, man. You want me to show the apparel? Yeah, man. That me, stuff's let, fun. Let me show the apparel. Let me go back That's to this because screen. I was in charge of that project. All right. Probably. Can you see my screen? Yep. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. Um, so let's hope that this button works when I hit it. Yes, it did. So this is our apparel, and believe it or not, take a look, uh, Chris, at this. Uh, oh, crap. Uh, here's one shirt right here. Uh, this is a really cool one, Green Room Apparel, right here with the money sign, the Green Room. You like that one, Chris? I like that one. I like another one better than that one, though. All right, let's go back. Um, That's the one I like the best. I check like out. One. It keeps check out the rank you guys on this on this shirt right here. It's a fifty thousand rank. In <laughs> <laughs> these are actually like for anyone who does merch by Amazon, these are actually really good ranks for clothing. So uh, I think we contributed to that, Chris, um, buying like twenty of the shirts to give away at the Green Room event. Uh, but check out this shirt right here. You can get it in all different colors. And guys, don't think we're like trying to sell you to make money on apparel. We literally make how much do we make on each shirt that we sell? We make three cents. And the only reason I make three cents is because I didn't want the price to be twelve dollars. Oh man, that's, that's a that's a Ponzi shirt. scheme. Three cents. Dude, twelve seventy two does not look as good as twelve seventy five. So I, I just put twelve seventy five to make it look good. Here's one of the shirts right here in my hands. Look at this guys. This is cool right here. Uh they can't see because I think we're on presentation mode right but now. I think so. they might be able to see down there because they can see our little heads and stuff. So that's what it looks like. Anyway. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, those are those are the shirts that we have available. Uh, here's one more, a pretty cool one. So if you're coming to the Green Room event, guys, if you're a Green Room member, get your Green Room gear. But with that being said, I'm going to take off the presentation mode right now. Um, stop sharing. All right, cool. Take it away. Darren Eckleman, is the Green Room mobile phone accessible? We're working on that right now. Is the mobile part Yeah, resolved? Yeah, it's fixed. It's all good to go. Okay, it's all resolved. Because as of like two weeks ago, we had a little bit of an issue with the menu bar. But we're all good here. Um, one of the one of the days, guys, we're going to show you, and maybe this is just for inside the green room, but like how we kind of created the green room, down to like the whole story behind the logistics and everything, like the really intricate stuff. Maybe we'll do it for YouTube one day, but just to help anyone that wants to maybe form a room or some you know something with somebody else, and you got to figure out where do all the gears fit in with this with a project like the green room, and we, we can definitely tell you guys about the gears and the intric intricate parts of what we've gone through, all the conference calls. All the crazy stuff that we've gone—I mean, we, it, it all fits together for one large project, and we're never done. That's the thing about, you know, being an entrepreneur is you're never done. Yeah, if you come into the green room, don't think that you're gonna just get what you see. Um, if you were to only be able to know all the projects that we have behind the scenes, um, we want to let you know that this is evolving. It's evolving in front of our own eyes, and uh, you know, we just we launched Green Room Life the other day, and we have some projects that are be coming to fruition over the next 
couple of weeks, and uh, yeah, we're we're not. It's not one of those things where we just build it and forget it. Um, we're constantly improving. Uh, if you're in the green room, you see that I'm always running polls and I'm asking questions. I'm trying to figure out what makes people tick, what they want. And uh, one thing that I actually realized, uh, the poll that I put the other day, people want to learn about wholesale. So that's going to be another thing we're going to be working on. Okay. Uh, so Kuyan Pants is bona fide Rake and Young. You guys should do an intro video to the green room, like an advertisement video. Don't worry. He's he's we're already there. <laughs> we got it in the works. Don't worry, you'll see. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're get, we got some things coming up. But you're on the right track. Thank you so much for the uh, suggestion. So you saw all the stuff which you get in the green room. Um, other benefits, of course, you saw all that stuff, but of course there's the community aspect of the whole thing. You know, If you spend the whole time on the site and everything like that, that's great. But the community aspect is going to be in the Facebook feed. So the community aspect is not only very positive, but it is extremely controlled. And we don't allow any riffraff in there. So um, there's a lot of slapstick humor. You know, people that have you know earned their keep. They're they're there, right? Young. They're people that mm -hmm. have just earned their ways into being almost like the class clown. But it's like a very okay. super high productive class clown, like with FBA or eBay. Like they, you know, and people joke around because let's let's be honest. Once you start working for yourself, man, you got to look for reason. You got to look for <laughs> reasons to smile. You got to find every reason to get your mind in check. And quite honestly, when you can wake up in the morning and go right to a Facebook. Group, see all the posts, see the people that responded to your stuff, and respond, you know, it's like you have a family that's virtual, but here's the best part about it, is all these people that had a virtual family, and that they did, some of them did micro meetups, right? A lot of these people that have made really big steps in the green room have the cash flow to come to the central part of the country in a week, and they're going to start meeting each other in real life, like the big players, and that's that, going to be that, like, that is cool. That's, that's going to be like an atom bomb going off, man. I don't think any big box store is going to survive. Any thrift store, no, no thrift store is going to survive. I talked to a Goodwill manager the other day, and I was like, "Look, we might have like 50 people coming in at once." No, <laughs> and she was like, "Oh my gosh, like really? Like this store?" I was like, "Yeah, but I like your store, so that's why I want to come here." And she's like, "All right, well, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna like play like I didn't hear." any of that, and you just guys come in and do it's like, all right. Oh, okay. So it's kind of funny, but yeah, I mean, you know, it can get chaotic, but the most important thing is that we show people Austin, Texas. People get around family. People get around the people, and, uh, you know, it's a reward. It, I don't, a lot of people are looking at this trip as a vacation reward for all the hard work that they've done in the years. So anyway, um, Mallow Jimmy, hey, Bonafide Hustler, can we get the backroom access? That would be epic. Uh, hmm. Backroom access. Oh, that backroom access of the goodwill. Oh, I was like, well, I thought he meant of like the website. I was like, wait a minute. Hey, what is he talking about? Like this guy's so direct. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, okay, Rob, here, let me just answer this. Rob F, Bonafide Hustler, I was watching one of your YouTube videos yesterday, and I had to sit through a Ty Lopez commercial. What's <laughs> up with that? <laughs> it's not because of me. It's because you probably like entrepreneur type stuff, you know, we were talking about Evan Carmichael before the show started. You're, li you're likely looking at things like that, Carmichael, Ty Lopez, Vaynerchuk. If you are subscribed to those channels, the, the ads that you get blasted with are going to be all in relation to each other. So anyway, it's like two years ago when I was going to any video, I'd get blasted by six-pack shortcuts because I love fitness videos, right? And so like I would see Mike Chang on like every video I'd go to. We got to uh, start running some green room ads, man. I know, dude. Get them popping up, man, Ty Lopez style. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, guys. Here at the thrift store. Hey, guys. Here's my <laughs> Subaru Outback. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, green. We talked about the green room event. What exactly is it? Ray, can, can we go a little bit in depth about this event? Like someone might be like, okay, why are people coming to Austin, Texas? Why are people, you know, investing all this time to come together to be around more competition what what is it about the event, Rick? And we've hosted three of them now, three big ones. Um, not big ones. I mean, two real big ones and one kind of smaller one. What is it about the event? Why would people come? Like, why do people come? Well, you know, these people are interacting with each other, and we're interacting with them on a daily basis. You know, and you know, just like anything, I mean, you 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 get to know somebody, you become their friend, you want to meet them in real life, and you want to connect with them more, and you want to learn more. And it's different. You know, that's why I'll pay $1,000 to go to a Tony Robbins event or to different seminars. I'm going to another one in New York. I mean, it's a different 
it's a different feeling. It's like it's like paying money to go to a baseball game versus just watching on TV. I'm trying to trying to get my point across, but you know, there's connections that are being built in, inside the green room, and they want to meet. Um, also, you know, for the green room event, you know, we're renting out a whole place. We're having dinner. We have a DJ, a dance floor, raffles, giveaways. Um, you know, three, four. Five days before the event starts, we're hitting thrift stores, we're going hustling, we're going outside, we're exercising, fireworks. I mean, so many amazing things that are going to be going down. I mean, people, they just want to come, they want to have fun. And I think at the green room, inside the green room, it's always more, it's more than just a business. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, definitely more than just a business, especially with the opening of Green Room Life. We really realized how much other amazing content was pent up and just stored inside some of these people. Um, and it was just waiting for, a, a you know, that kind of vehicle to bring it out and so the green room life is one of those places we have people posting like where they them working out at places around the world we have them posting pictures of what they're eating um, down to healthy habits how to get better sleep you know what should I be taking on my road trip into Austin like I want to healthy snacks what should I do you know carbs or no carbs protein the best proteins I mean these kind of conversations are going on in the room that we created a week ago, so I can only imagine what one year down the road is for the Green Room Life, which is quite a project in itself, but it's a lot of fun. So let's talk about the next thing down the way, which is, uh, well, that is Green Room. We were to discuss Green Room Life, so it's everything outside of hustling. We all know that. Um, discounts coming soon um, with the whole entire thing. That's next week, Raken, right, potentially? Yep, yep. Next week, um, I'm actually I'm going to be flying into Austin July 1st. I'll be there there till the 10th. So probably somewhere between the second and the I don't know because there's July 4th. We're going to figure it out. But again, you know, get on the email list. Download 100 amazing items to resell. It's it's literally the first or second thing in the description, and we're going to update you behind the scenes because we are going to have a promotion only for people who, uh, most likely only for people who are. Uh, on the email list. If we do something on YouTube, it's probably not going to be as good of a deal as the one on the email list. I could say that. I could definitely, I could firmly say that if you're on the email list, we're going to give you a better deal. Why? Because like I said before, guys, it's not all about the money for us. We don't just want, we don't just want 2,000, 3,000 people of random people because that hurts us. Why does that hurt us? You think, well, you know, they're getting money, they're making money. Why is it hurting them? Because the life of our business is having quality content, people who are there to help each other, committed. Uh, it's like the restaurant industry, right? You can get all the people through the door, but if you serve bad food, your business is done. So we only want the committed people. Get get the book, show that you're committed, and we're going to give you a special deal. That's really all I could say. Do you want to say anything else? Um, <laughs> now that we're talking about restaurants, I'm actually I had a great workout today, and I'm going to have to talk about it in Green Room Life. But uh, yeah. Cool. And by the way, uh, yes, you and I are working out all next week, right? Hey, Friday, man, I have to tell you live on the show, don't you dare work out early in the morning at 6, six o'clock because my shoulders, man, I'm telling you right now, they're ready. shoulder workout when I get in, man. I'm coming in from, from Connecticut and we're working out immediately. Cool. We have the workout slated for about 2 to 2.30. At that point, 2 or 2.30. <laughs> um, you look at him getting excited. Be there too, man. I showed you pictures of him and his transformation, by the way. Um, anyway, so let's talk about uh, a little bit behind who are the admins of the group. So, uh, Young, maybe three to five minutes about yourself, maybe how the, we met and all that kind of stuff. You want to go first? Sure, yeah. You know, um, I've been in the reselling game since I was 15. Um, I'm 44 now, so you do the math. It's been a long time, um, long before eBay, Craigslist, and Amazon. So, um, you know, I don't by any means consider myself an expert. I consider myself well experienced, um, but I enjoy helping people. Um, you know, if, if you guys send me a, a, a Facebook message, I'm almost guaranteed to answer unless I forget. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I just love helping people. I mean, when I when I first met Chris, I, I, I drove, spent my own money, and I drove out to Austin so I can help my friend out there uh, get into the business. Uh, that's that, that's just the kind of person that I am. Um, fortunately, unfortunately, he didn't work out. He just he just doesn't have the mindset for the business. But um, but the good thing that came out of it was uh, Chris and I met, um, and uh, we were able to uh, form the green room. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, you know, uh, again, I've been doing this for a long time. I'm heavily uh, into FBA. I do a little eBay. Um, do a lot of Craigslist, um, antique booth, um, and you know, you guys heard me mention merch a lot. Um, I'm doing a lot of merch. 
Um, so, you know, I got my hands in uh, various um, platforms to make money. So, uh, yeah, that, that, that's who I am. Okay. And uh, so that's one of the admins. We have another one called the College Picker, which uh, he's not here right now. He's on a bike tour and might be even riding into Austin, Texas next week. But anyway, he's on a bike tour, and uh, he might not even have good internet. But anyway, um, we'll let him do his spiel the next time. Um, I'm the Bonafide Hustler, right? Um, but that name came from an MIA song called Paper Planes. And um, so I, I think everyone knows that song. There's a, there's one lyric where it says, Bonafide Hustler uh, making my name. So... Um, you know, I, I grew up in Houston, Texas. I uh, went to a private school where we had to wear khakis and ties all day, you know, all kind of stuff. And then I got out of that, came into the University of Texas. Um, didn't do so well in my provisional semester, so I got kicked out. Then I got back in, and then I got kicked out again. Then I got back in again. I've, I've, you know, I've done the ups and downs. But while I was in college, I was a relatively popular guy, embraced working out all the time, and I was, like, totally into, like, being social, uh, which led me into getting a really good corporate job outside of college, which back in 2001, I started paying, like, $41,000, which you might think that's not really that much money, but it actually ended up being 10,000 over the mean of people that graduated in that college. So anyway, you know, fast forward 10 years later, an MBA as well down in the belt. Um, I got an MBA program, you know, finished, which was hell. Um, got all that done and just left corporate America because I was like, you know what, I think I'm destined for bigger and better things. So I became a stock trader at that point, did marginally well doing that. And then I became an insurance um, person after that, an insurance agency owner, which for a year I was like, oh, you know, it could be a good idea, but then again, you're not really owning your own business, although that's the way they pitch it to you. So I was like, you know, I want to own my own thing. So um, my trader friends back in the day were like, look, you're really good at the hustling thing. You're really, really good at it. Like, I don't understand why you just don't do that the whole time. Just get really good at it and just, you know. So that's what I did. I got really, you know, I got incrementally better and better and better and better. Met up with College Picker first, then Young, then Raken, formed the Green Room. And, um, yeah, you know, it's been quite, and we're doing a lot of the same things that I did in corporate America. We're doing conference calls. We're doing a lot of the same models that we use to sell things. And um, it's one of those, it, it, it's finally now feeling like something big and something that has a lot of power. If you asked me this question a year ago, we didn't even have the site a year ago. We had just these uh, YouTube videos and stuff, and we had the Facebook group, which was growing at a rapid pace. But now we have a, finally a site and all this kind of stuff. Who knows what's down in the future? Maybe an app. We don't know, but at the same time, you know, we save money, and we make sure that we're ready for like the next big thing. So that's who I am. I'm another one of the admins of the Green Room, and I'm also heavily into fitness, which I have another channel on YouTube. We'll talk about that at another time. Raken. Let's give the background on you, because your your background is like a really cool one. And let's get into get into the nitty gritty. Should we get the really you... dirty, the bad boy one? Yeah, get into that bad boy part, because I think everyone knows it. But to hear, yeah. let's just I've, yeah, I've released the story. I mean, countless times. But when I was um, 21 years old, which I'm 29 now, so that was about eight years ago. Um, I got arrested. I got in trouble. I was I was doing some stuff that I shouldn't have been doing, and uh, I actually got in trouble for selling for selling pot. And uh, I was actually doing it for a while, pretty much just getting by, selling to college kids, and just doing stupid things. And I, I I've always been a hustler, right? I, if I was younger, you know, lemonade stand, uh, selling baseball cards, Pokemon cards, hustling, doing crazy things. But when I was like 18, 19, 20, 21. I was just doing really, really stupid things. Um, you know, I was 250 pounds at one point um, around that time, around 20, 21 years old, 240, 250. I was smoking two packs of cigarettes a day. Um, I had a lot of toxic people in my life. I, I had lived a completely different life. I was smoking a lot of marijuana. I was just, I was just in a really, really bad place, and I was living at home with my parents, and I was just pretty sh shitty of a person to be honest but I was a young kid and I really didn't know what I was doing I thought that was okay and finally one time I was uh, you know doing what I do selling selling to someone who I thought I knew <laughs> um, someone introduced me to a, a person and said this is my cousin will you will you hook him up with some with some pot and I said sure so I sold it to him one time sold it to him a second time sold it to him a third time and the fourth time we met up at a CVS parking lot right I don't think I've ever told this story so I'm going really deep we met up at a CVS parking lot and it was for like 70 or 80 bucks worth and I'm not proud of this so I hope hopefully you guys don't know but I want to kind of build some context I sold it to him and I walked out of the car and there was like seven 
cops with masks all in black running out with me gu with guns and told me to get on the ground. Long story short, ended up in jail, cost my parents probably about ten thousand dollars in loyal lawyer fees, and just hit rock bottom. You know, two hundred fifty pounds, smoking cigarettes, locked up, joke broke as a joke, and you know. In no time, I went back to college, got accepted into the radiology program, got honors. There was a program that you know 400 people applied for, only 11 got approved. I got in, I got accepted, and last second I decided I didn't want to do it. And it was right about the time I was working at the Cracker Barrel and a few other places, and decided to go reselling full time, and uh, haven't looked back since. So I know I kind of jumped eight years, but I I've hit rock bottom. I've been in a really bad place, and. Uh, you know, it's 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 been a long journey, but you know, now I you know I sell on eBay, Amazon, Craigslist. I've quit smoking cigarettes. I've lost the weight. I rarely drink. I don't smoke. I hang out with a lot of positive people. I'm all about self development. Uh, but I came from a pretty rough place, and uh, I'm just super grateful to be around so many amazing people in the green room and people on YouTube. And if it wasn't for YouTube and the green room, um, and meeting you, bona fide, and watching your videos initially, man, when I was probably about 20. Five or twenty-six. I already kind of cleaned up my act, but it was your videos and a lot of other people in the community that really helped me to like move into this positive place. So, uh, yeah, that's a long-winded rake and profit from the bottom to the top. What's a Drake song? Start from the bottom. Now we're here. <laughs> <laughs> the show's over. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> that's my embarrassing, kind of shameful story about my past. Nothing to be embarrassed about, man. Yeah, so that's the, that's the story I was looking for because I knew I knew the whole story, but I was just like, you know what? It's one of those things that now is the perfect time to tell it because there's some people out there that maybe they're not, you know, getting bum rushed by eight cops, right? But like, there are people in there that are smoking and that are, you know, not doing well with their business, and maybe they're overweight and they're like, you know what? What I wonder if this room is the kind of place where. I, this could help me turn around, right? This can get my habits in the right direction, both business and physically and all this kind of stuff. I absolutely think it can. I really do think. And the people that make it happen are the people that talk the most. I've figured that out about the green room over the three years of running it, that the people that actually talk the most in the green room and ask the most questions are the people that end up making the most money in the end. Have you noticed that? I mean, young, right? I mean, all the people that started from day one, like, hey, I'm this person. I'm glad to be part of the room. I dabble in this, and I do some of that. I want to learn more about this. Everyone wants to help them out, right? But then you got some lurker people, and there's nothing wrong with lurker people. But uh, quite honestly, it's the people that actually take charge will get the results that they want. You might get the results that you don't want, but either way, you get the results. And that's the most important part is to make the choice and to get the result. Have you noticed that? Because we're living with no results and just doing the same thing over and over, there's no change. There's zero change, right? But as long as you make a choice to do something, you will get a result. And the result is what you elaborate, go, okay, was it either a good one or a bad one? And Raken had a bunch of good ones after his incident. He was like, you know what? Ooh, Zelda ringtone. Damn, I am retro today. Um, so... <laughs> But that's what I'm talking about, guys. It's like making the right choices. You know, the choice to speak up in the room, the choice to act on people's, you know, uh, advice. The cho everything's a choice and a choice that leads to two outcomes every single time, right? And then you just reevaluate yourself in each outcome. So, um, Lee Shube, we forgive you, Steve, <laughs> but we know you've been putting weed in your smoothies. Hey, I've been putting a lot of green stuff in my <laughs> smoothies, but it's been spinach, oh, it's man. been kale. I'm behaving myself, guys. One thing I want to say is don't wait for a crane, a crane, a, a crane, a train wreck. Don't wait till you hit rock bottom. Don't wait until you're, you know, a pothead, 250 pounds, doing illegal things until you decide to make a change, right? You have to predict. You know, you want to, you want to, you want to be a few steps ahead, like a chess game, right? What are your thoughts on that, like bona fide? Like, say you don't want to like get into the green room when like you have no money and you're broke. Like you want to, you want to invest in yourself when you've got some savings. You know, do you, do you see the direction I'm kind of going in right now? Yes. You're, you're talking about the principle of extrapolation. Like basically to extrapolate is to be able to see your future happening now and to be able to go, okay, if I can just keep doing the same thing, I can't expect anything different or I can expect, you know, okay, I make an extra three grand a month doing eBay and, uh, you know, I want to be at 5,000 a month, but I'm doing nothing extra, right? I'm doing nothing different. And guess what? Next month you'll do 3,000. Next month after that you'll do 3,000. You got to do different things to get to 4,000, to get to 5,000. And that's what we're talking about. Um, you got to be able to, like Rick and saying, don't wait till you get poor and you're completely, you know, completely screwed out of funds and then you join the green room. Be able to see it now and go, you know what, I'm not where I want to be 
and I can do this now for you know sixteen dollars and sixty six cents a month if you get the yearly option right there is a monthly option too at thirty bucks a month but the yearly is two hundred bucks a year and quite honestly it doesn't take a rocket I don't like to say rocket scientist anymore I like to say rocket engineer because that's like really stupid sounding but I don't want to be sound like a rocket engineer but <clears throat> three hundred I mean thirty dollars a month is three hundred sixty dollars a year guys versus two hundred so anyway um, I might be when I go over there. I'm not. I'm not saying this just because we're live, but I might try to convince you to raise that price, to raise that to that yearly price. <laughs> I, I can't. I, I'm just being 100% honest. It might. It might. The conversation is going to come up. Well, here's the thing, guys. Also, I mean, you know, I. I it's funny that we're talking about this because I just posted something about this the other day, right? And I don't know if you guys remember reading it, but it was basically um, investing in your business, right? Like, I um, my post was. Every year, I spend a hundred dollars on Dropbox Pro because that's that's an investment for my business, right? So, I, so I'm always investing in my business, whether it's um, um, you know products or whatever. And to this day, it just boggles my mind that people don't want to spend money on stuff like that in their business that helps them, uh, 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 you know, financially. I mean, not financially, but that helps them with their uh, business and individually. Yet they're spending. Two, three, four, five dollars a day on Starbucks coffee every day, right? Uh, you know they're 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 going out and, and eating McDonald's every day, but they, yet they and you know Dropbox Pro cost me eight dollars and twenty five cents a month, but people are always spending you know five dollars for a Starbucks coffee, coffee, but they refuse to pay for stuff to re, uh, re reinvest in their business. It just it doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand how people think sometimes. It just I don't know. You know what I think it is, and I, I know I've made this mistake because I know I've made this mistake. I make it all the time. It's it's the instant gratification, right? When when you have a coffee, you spend the five bucks, but you get that you get that buzz, you get that caffeine high, you get that that energy rush. You know, when you invest into something, it's not instant gratification most of the time, and people have to take action on it. There's no real action you have to take when you drink a cup of coffee. So. I guess what I'd like to say to that is give yourself a chance to succeed. Invest in the green room. You know, if you want to just try it out for a month and get all the free books and just leave after a month, you can do that. You can literally go in for a month at twenty nine ninety nine, download all the free books, get all the content, and leave. And you can do that. But the problem with that is you're not giving yourself a chance to succeed because the green room's designed and it's created for you to be in there and to grow with it. If you just come in and leave or you just go in and you don't interact, you don't go through the resources, you don't watch the private shows, you don't watch the training, you're not going to get much out of it. So I'm going to be 100% straight up. If you're not going to take action, if you're going to just go in there and just download all the books and never read them and go into the Facebook and never talk, we don't even we really do, I don't want this to sound harsh but we don't want your money. We only want you in there if we want to help you. We want to see you succeed because if you don't succeed, it doesn't look good for us as well. So if you're not committed, if you're not going to take action, save your money. And I know it's kind of crazy to say that, but that's just just really how I feel. Yeah, that's true. That's completely true. But I think, you know, with with all these shows and everything, we have almost 100 shows on YouTube now with Green Room Hangouts. I mean, I think it's pretty clear that we're, we're here to stay, which is not some fly-by-night company kind of thing. You know, this is one of those things that we were building slow. You can almost see the trajectory of the Green Room through the videos if you watch and listen carefully. You can see that we talk about, oh, we'll have a site one day, and with the site's two weeks from being launched, it was like... 16 weeks from being launched. I mean, we thought it was, but we didn't execute. The hard work behind the scenes. If you listen to all the shows, you can hear us talking about it and all that kind of stuff. And we finally have done it, right? But we're never there. We're never. We haven't arrived, and I don't think we ever will. But that's the whole. That's the best part about the business is we're not sitting back like you know sipping pina coladas in Cabo because. There's so much more that we can do, and that's what we're doing. So, anyway, um, let's talk about. Um, uh, we've talked about pretty much everything. Let's go into the Q&A real quick. Um, and then we got to make sure that... Uh, well, first of all, hey, Raken, we have 140 people 100. watching right now. Wow. And it looks like 79 people have decided to go up or down on this video. So, guys, look, if you are finding even a tad, like, you know, inspiration in this or some motivation or you're in the room and you're like, this was a really good infomercial or whatever you want to call it, um, then hit the like button or hit the dislike button. I just want to see what people are thinking right now. Is this like a long-winded infomercial? Does it feel like you know, that? I'm trying not to make it feel like that. I just say infomercial because that's where you get all the in- that's where you get all the info. All we've done is just dis- installments. Divulge information in the show today that we've <laughs> the information about the room. Is, how is that any different than an infomercial? Young, what will they get if they put out 12 installments of 1999? <laughs> 
Still we should have a ticker. Right we should have had one of those tickers in the background right behind Bonafide with like uh like a 22 mi- You know you ever watch those where um what is it? Uh QVC or whatever where it's like it shows the numbers going up like oh 20 sold, 36 sold, 57 sold. Jeez. No oh, wow. Oh man. One day, right? No. Uh, oh, no, if you if you act now, you'll get a free slap chop, guys. You'll get a free <laughs> slap chop. Uh, Young's gonna Young is gonna mail it off. Um, we we like to have fun, you know. You know, we're we're messing around, but we like to have fun and keep it kind of relaxed and be honest with, be transparent, right? I don't know. I, do you pride yourself, Young? Do you pride yourself, Chris, on being transparent? I definitely do, and you know, people know. Why not just be honest? No, that's I have true. To, I have nothing to hide. I've always been honest with everyone. That's true. There's nothing. I mean, if you watch all my videos, I've, you can basically see my growth in four what are years on YouTube, just what I've done with my hustler business, right? Um, let's talk about. Uh, oh, here's Mr. Sadie123. Um, this is an honest comment. We, we may as well read it. Green Room is not a good fit for me, but I actually recommend it from time to time. I think it's a cool alternative to trial and error like I had for a long time. So cool. Thanks, Mr. Sadie123. Also, a loyal subscriber of both Golden Figure Pickers um, channels. Hearts and my own as well. So I've seen him and and also Global Voodoo picking profits. Like Mr. Sadie One Two Three is found in like everyone's feed. Honestly, he is there, and he is uh, on track with his comments and everything. Can, so. can I say one thing too? It's not yeah. going to be a fit for everybody. So I don't want you no. guys to feel bad and be like, oh, they're putting out all this free content. Like like, if it's not a fit for you, then don't join. But don't feel bad to come to all the live shows and interact and have fun. We're not th- like we don't we don't see we don't look at people and say like, oh. Like oh they haven't joined like they're they're in the feed like they're just consuming we don't think like that like we're here to help and add value as our number one thing so if it's not a fit for you it's not a big deal like we we enjoy you know the interaction and everything. I think the best thing for people to do is just really just talk to other members other other current members um, and just just ask them questions. Yeah, that's true. We're at you'll get a, you, you, you'll, you'll get a non-biased uh, answer. Have the green room members right now, Chris. Tell them. Drop a line. Drop a line. Drop a line. What do you guys think of the Green Room? If you're a Green Room member and you like it, let us know. If there's something, if you're a Green Room member and there's something you don't like or something, or maybe you're not getting value, just let's be honest, right? Is I think that's the best way to put it out. If you're a Green Room member, give your honest feedback in the comment section right now because, you know, I think it's just the transparency and honesty will really go a long way for everybody. Yeah. Crazy part is this this comment feed, once the video is not live, it vanishes, right? And it goes to a different True. comment feed. But anyway... Um, so yeah, a little housekeeping real quick. This was a really good show. It's always an easy show when you talk about the thing that you love the most, right? Which is right now it's our business is really good. Fitness is really fun to me. So, you know, talking about those two things is borderline effortless for me because I like doing it. It's fun, right? You know, and, uh, it's one of those things that, um, I'm really so proud of the members in there. I really am. There's so many amazing flips that I see in that room that I'm like, gosh, when do I get to like hustle something like that? Or, uh, oh, I remember that thing, you know, but I've never hustled it. But there's so many amazing things, eBay and Amazon related. People are posting what they find, the screenshots of their phone, what to sell for, like all amazing stuff. So I I like it. Even as an experienced hustler, I got to tell you, like when I'm in the room, I'm like, oh my gosh, like there's really good flips in there, man. Question coming in from Darren was asking, is there an Amazon FBA tutorial inside the green room? Um, yes, there is an Amazon FBA tutorial that uh, I think College Picker and Retro Aficionado are the main contributors on that program. Um, it's our FBA mini course. It's a mini course, yeah. yeah Talk to FBA. him about that. Is it video? Is it blog? So is it written? What, how, the, how does the course play out, Young? It's a, it's a video course. It's a mini video course that uh, uh, CP and I did. And uh, it gives you the basics. Uh, now, if you want to learn um, everything from A to Z, um, you know you, you you can communicate with the other members, and you know a lot of them have a lot of knowledge. But it'll it'll definitely get you in the right direction as like far as like starting up basics. your account. Sending yeah. out your first shipment, going kind of yeah. through the basics of the dashboard, and you know the biggest struggle people have is like, it's like, okay, I signed up for Amazon, now what? Like, how do I figure out which warehouse it's going to? Like, how do I scan yeah. things? And that's all covered, the basic yeah. stuff. So just the basics. Yeah. So you jump over the basic hurdles with the with the FBA mini course, which is in there, um, and uh, yeah, then you you kind of connect the dots with with the Facebook, uh, the Green Room Facebook. Okay. Cool. People are asking, what is FBA? <laughs> It's from Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Big eBay right there with a warehouse and everything like that. So, you know, it doesn't matter what business model you're embracing. Amazon, FBA, Craigslist, you know, 
there, there, there's plenty of information going around in the green room. And it, wherever it evolves, I mean, I'm pretty sure the green room will, will evolve with it. So, um, Yeah, I guess that's pretty much uh, the show. What's it, what do we got going on? Uh, what's the last thing that we didn't talk about? The meetup. Oh, Raken, we need to create that other group so people can know exactly where to go for the meetup, right? Down to the directions and everything. we yeah. got to get the green yeah. room meetup group. And this is for anyone that's coming to Austin, Texas next week. Um, we'll make this a very quick 30-second little thing. But um, if you're coming into Austin, Texas next week, you're going to come in and you're going to see the original schedule that's there on the website uh, for the Green Room event. Look, that 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 schedule is probably going to change a little bit. We're going to make sure that schedule is in the Green Room meetup page. That If you're in the Green Room, make sure you get on this Facebook page, and that way you can see the agenda live. Like, I mean, it's going to be down to, like, the hour. Um, if something changes, it's going to change quickly, and we want to make sure that we get all, you know, 80 people or however many cars are going to be down there in the right areas of town. Um, so, yeah, make sure. You'll, you'll see it in the green room. We're going to blast it for, like, a solid week. Um, all right. So that's Someone, much... someone says, think, I still think you should do a 30-day trial membership. All legit companies do it so people know what they are getting into. Um, the, let me... the, problem, the problem with that is, like, we have, you know, if we did the 30-day 30, 30 trial thing that, that really opens the door for, not, I mean, all of our guys dispersed into open space. I mean, there's so much that can go wrong with that, right? You can get a lot of people that aren't committed at all, just tearing up the room to pieces, right? That's, we, we just, what's the word? I mean, we just, we, we want to protect our people. We don't want, we don't we won't just want anybody just walking in the door and just running into the culture that we've created. What's it's almost, it's almost like, you know, working at a job and they just say like, oh, 15 people just come in and do whatever you want. Like, it's going to destroy <laughs> everything. <laughs> Um, but maybe we've thought about certain things like little scholarships and stuff like that, which we were talking about behind the scenes. So, um, you know, that's why I brought you behind the scenes and I, I showed you everything. I brought you into the Green Room University and I showed you exactly what you're going to get. Um, you know, we honestly asked, you know, Green Room members, I mean, in the feed right now, what do you think, the good and bad? So, I mean, we're, we're really doing our best to be as transparent as possible. Um, but there's only so much we're willing to do until it gets to the point where, you know, it's it's almost like you know, just letting your kid get babysitted by somebody off a of Craigslist. It's like I'm just not, I, I just don't have that much trust in just letting anybody just run into what we've worked so hard to create. And we just, am I am I on the right path? No, you're exactly right. If yeah. it comes down to a vote, I would absolutely vote no on this. And we have a panel right. vote on anything that needs well, to pass the greener. We have and, to vote on it. But but technically, it's, you know, you can't get a 30-day membership. It's going to cost you $29. <laughs> but you can't get it. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could literally just get a, a membership for a month and then just cancel it on your credit card. Like, yeah. if you wanted to be 100% honest, like, there's ways to get your money back. Um, and there's a one month thing. So, I don't think I should give any more ideas, but. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, that's, pretty, that's out. pretty much the, uh, the, the show, guys. I think the next time that you guys see us on YouTube or wherever, I think Reagan's going to be in town. Young's likely to be in town. CP will be in town. So, uh, yeah, pay attention to that agenda because got to get on the Green Room Meetup page and it'll show you exactly where we are, even on some of the days where we're not doing any meetups, like maybe Monday or Tuesday, then there's going to be some stuff Monday or Tuesday as well yeah. where we can do some meetups at a bar or wherever it is. If you come in, you know, into town early, don't just think I have to thrift before all the activities. You might be able to come out and hang out with us and we'll tell you where we're going to be. So, um, man. That's it. The, the only thing is, again, guys, um, if you're looking to join the green room, I've never said this before, but I'd say hold off for another week because we're going to have a special promotion going on. So um, if you want to get your hands on that, literally, it's going to be like a one-time promotion, and I don't think we're going to do a deal this good in, who knows, ever. I know the price is going to be going up. I'm going to do my best to convince these guys to keep raising the price up because, like I said, <laughs> I don't want just as many people in the room. I want the committed. I don't I don't want the trolls being able to get in because, as you guys know in the reselling community, there's a 1% troll rate, 1%. 99% are good, but there is a troll rate in, in the reselling community, and I want that price to be high enough to keep them out. So um, I'm just being 100% honest, and uh, go, go into the description, get the free book, and you'll be – You'll be on the list, and we'll notify you, and we'll let you know. And uh, we look forward to having you as a Green Room member and, um, yeah, adding value to you and helping you out. Anything else, guys? No, that's pretty much it. Thanks for, thanks so much for watching. <laughs> I just wanted to have some awkward sets. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, thanks thanks for uh, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Don, close it out, man. Close it out.
out, man. Kill the awkwardness. All right, let's do it, guys. Hey, thanks so much for watching. This is what, again, number 49? I can't remember. But anyway. <laughs> we went from we 45 gonna, to 49. 45, I can't remember. But yeah, man, we're going to be in Austin next year. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to meeting uh, a lot of the new members. I'm looking forward to meeting Cody Orjo, man. The guy came all the way from Australia. So I'm looking forward to dunk on him. And... Uh, <laughs> But yeah, um, thanks so much for watching. I don't know. Are we going to do a live hangout next week? No. We're going to do the no? webinar. Okay. For the the webinar is next week. Okay. Okay, so, okay, so then, um, uh, we'll, we'll catch you guys in a couple of weeks. Yeah, if you guys can't uh, come to the event, we're going to be doing some vlogging on the Bonafide Hustlers channel and my channel as well. So uh, stay on the lookout for that. Get the free book below. Get on the email list. Special promotion going down next week. With that being said, keep on picking and making that money, and we will see you <laughs> in the next video. Take care. All right.